Y'all, I heard a commenter say the other night, even if you're not big, you're still big. And the same can be applied to today's project. Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. It's definitely not big in size, but it's still big. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. Thank you all so much for the wonderful ways in which you support me and my channel. I truly appreciate it. Can you guess what's in here? It's a really little project today with a big impact. I'm going to flip to my overhead camera so that I can give you a closer look. But y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. Y'all, I'm old enough to remember when my wallet used to have photos in it. And the youngsters of today probably don't even know what I am talking about. So I have a friend who has a daughter graduating from college in May. I've known this girl since she was about eight years old, maybe eight or nine. So I really do know her. And I wanted to give her something special. And I wanted to make sure that I touched on a whole bunch of different things. And I also have one really cute picture of the two of us together that I thought would be sweet to give to her. She probably doesn't even know that the picture exists. So I was playing around with little ways of presenting something to her. And this is what I came up with. This was actually my prototype, but it turned out so well that I thought I'll keep it. This isn't the one that I'm going to give her because pink is not her favorite color. So I am going to make one in her colors that I know she will really like. But I'm going to go ahead and open this so that you'll know exactly when I open it, what it is. Because when I open it, we have a pocket on this side, and then we have, remember those old wallet slots that we used to have that we could put photos in? We could put our cards in here. Well, I went on Amazon and I found some. They still make them, they still sell them. And I thought this would be a great little wallet to actually present to her with some gift cards so that she can use the gift cards wherever she wants. And that photo that I have of the two of us when she was really, really little. So when finished, this measures three and a quarter by four by half an inch. And here's what I'm going to need to make it. So I have some eight and a half by six inch paper pads that I thought would be pretty nice to use for this project. I have three pieces and we'll be cutting them down to size and we'll do that together. Then I have two pieces of chipboard that measure three and a quarter by four. I use a medium weight chipboard. It is listed in my Amazon storefront and you can find that in the description box below. If you don't have chipboard, you can double up some cereal boxes or you can use shoe boxes, whatever you want to use that's going to give you a hard board consistency that you're happy with. Then I have one piece that measures half an inch by four. So I have two pieces that measure three and a quarter by four and I have one piece that measures half an inch by four. Then I have one of these little wallet inserts. I found these on Amazon. They will be linked in my Amazon storefront in case you're interested. And then I have a new style of leather snap closure that I will be using on my projects and I'll be using the other style as well. I just think that going forward when I make a folio or anything that needs a closure on it, I'll probably go for the more professional look of using leather snaps of some type. And this is one of the types that I'll be using. So you'll be able to find those in my Amazon storefront below as well. So I'm going to make this the outside of my jacket. I'll flip this over and we're going to be taking these pieces and we're going to be placing them down like this. And you'll notice that I'm not going to have a whole lot of room to fold over, but I will have enough edge material to be able to fold over before I lay down the inside liner. So I'm using eight and a half by six because that was the paper that I wanted to use. You can use a bigger piece if you want. So I'm peeling away the tape backers and we're going to just take these pieces and put them down like this. My tape is double sided so when I peel away that backer there's tape on the other side as well. And 
and let's just go ahead and put this piece down. Now I'll flip this over and we're just going to get that nice and stuck. I'll take my finger blade and I'm just going to remove this part here and then I'll remove a little bit of this excess because we don't need all of it. Now let's take our stylus, press it against the chipboard and drive it into paper. This helps to give us a nice score and it also helps if you have a paper that is prone to cracking. It might help minimize the cracking. Won't necessarily stop that paper from cracking but it might help to minimize the severity of the cracking. So I'm just going all the way around like this. Now I'll take this, stand it up, fold it over, training my paper to fold. Then we're going to go into the corner here and just miter. You know, this really is a very easy little project, but the impact of it is so big. So now I'm going to take my tape, add some tape along the edges like this. And I can use my tape runner on this part here because these edges will be folded over. They will be taped to the chipboard and then I'll lay a piece of inside liner on top and that's going to sandwich them in nicely. So I'm folding over. And I'm just going to make sure that I have everything nice and stuck. And if you find that you have any pointies on the end like that, go ahead and take your chipboard and just tap it into your desk or tabletop. That will help to get rid of those pointies that might be there. So now that we have our jacket, let's figure out that inside liner piece. And remember, when we do the inside liner piece, we remove a quarter of an inch this way and a quarter of an inch this way. So this is seven and a quarter this way. We're going to take it down to seven, removing that quarter of an inch. This is four inches this way. We're going to take it down to three and three quarters, removing that quarter of an inch. So my paper size needs to be seven by three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. So I'm going to take this piece and we put it on like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of my wide tape. This can also be found in my Amazon storefront under paper and adhesives or under awesome crafting supplies or tools. I can't remember what it's called, but you can find it there. Then I'm just going to take a piece of my one inch. there and then we'll take this piece and put it here. So basically you want to give as much adhesive cover to that chipboard as you can. So now I'm going to take my tape. We're going to go around the edges of the liner piece and I'm only going to go along the outside edges. Place that down like that. And now we are going to remove the tape from both the inside liner as well as the jacket. And then we join the two together. So I am just peeling away my tape backers from my double sided tape. And when we place it down, we're simply going to take that inside liner and we place it down like this. So you pretty much have a border on all four sides. So then I'll take my big old spatula, get everything nice and stuck. 
and then we will work the spine. So what I'll do is I will start here, bring it down until I find that fold. Then I'll go into the fold and just work it to get everything nice, tight, and crisp. I'll flip it around to the other side, start here, and pull down until I find that second fold. And we work the fold of the spine. So what you're trying to do when you're doing that is you want to make sure that you don't have any paper puckering on the inside, top or bottom, because we're going for that professional look. Even though it's handmade, we're trying to make it look as professional as we possibly can. And that's one of the ways that you do it by making sure you don't have any paper pulling away from the chipboard in the corners. So now that we have our piece here, I'm going to bring in this piece so that we can make a pocket for this. Now this has a little clear slider on the back. We simply need to make a pocket and slide that in. This is four inches high, so I'm just going to cut my pocket a little bit smaller than that four inches, and I'm going to reduce it down to three and seven eighths. And then I'll cut it the other direction, two and three quarters. That's going to go right there. Then I'm going to save this piece because I'll be able to make a pocket for the other side. So now to attach my pocket, I'm going to take some glue. We're going to place glue on three edges, two short sides and one long side. And then when I place this in, y'all, I'm going to place it as close to the edge as I can because I want to make sure that my wallet will not hit my score mark or my fold at all. We don't want it hitting that spine. So we're going to get this nice and stuck. And while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece for the pocket. I'm cutting a piece at three and one eighths inch wide. And then I'll just take my scissors and I will cut like this. So how you make this pocket over here or either pocket really is completely up to you. But I am going to take my glue. We place our glue here and we place our glue here. So now we can take this piece, we can put it in, just make sure that you're not hitting that spine. And so now we should be able to take this piece and insert it here, slide that all the way in, and now we have a place to put the cards and the photographs old school style, just using the wallet inserts. I am going to go ahead and take my snap and attach it. Y'all, this is such an easy way of getting a closure on your project. So I'm going to take my glue, add some glue to this part of the snap. Then I'm going to take the snap bottom and just place it right there. Now we do have to hold this for a moment so that it can catch. So I'm just going to hold it and we'll let it catch. All right, so once we have this snap down, I'm just going to go ahead and place this one, flip it over. We'll add some glue to the back. Make sure you get that corner so that that glue will hold. And y'all, the reptile adhesive does hold this down. My paper has not pulled apart when I have tried to open it. And then you just fold it over and you get that nice and stuck. So at this point, I am going to take one of my clips and put the clip down. But I want to make sure that my clip is not digging into that leather, so I'm putting that in between. We'll let that clip 
hold for a moment and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back and this is fairly dry. It's going to take it just a little bit longer to dry, but we can work with it. So I'm just going to be very careful when I open it like that and we can open it like that. Now what I want to put on the inside is I want to add just a little something here and this says, I'm more than lucky, I'm blessed. So I am going to take just a little bit of my glue We're going to take this piece and we're going to put it down right there. Then I'm going to take this little cut apart and just tuck it in the pocket because I think it's a nice little message. And it says, stay humble, work hard, be kind. And that's also what it says right here. So of course I like that. And if you want, you can add something to the front. That is completely up to you. I am leaving this blank for the moment. I might go back and add something. But y'all, I have made three of these little cuties because they're so easy to make, so quick to make, and they're rather addictive when you start making them. So I am going to open this one to give you another look at how we can take these little inserts and create the cutest, most professional looking little wallet, old school wallet out there. So I hope that you have enjoyed today's super awesome but super simple project. If you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, y'all we're doing amazing things and I want you to be a part of that. So please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you will know when I upload a new video. As always, my friends, y'all please be safe, be kind, and be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.